bet you you all thought that you would get away without my having to say a word. No, but that's not the situation. First of all, thank you very much for coming. Uh, there's something about playing that I love to do. Uh, I love it even more when I have somebody like this to play with me. But uh, you know what makes it perfect? An audience. So now that I've shared with you. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why we're doing this today. By the way, can you hear me? Uh, I, I should be sure to uh, kind of speak up a little bit. Uh, okay back there? Oh, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I, I can't project. Uh, this is only half of it. If you want more, I can give you more. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, there are a lot of things happening at this point. And the, but the nice thing about music is the fact that almost everything that happens, you can find some way of, uh, you know, having an excuse to have music. Uh, the 250th anniversary, obviously, of the Civil War. And we'll talk about that a little bit with music. Uh, the second one is uh, obviously 9-11. You know, Grace and I were much in, very much involved with working with some of the wives of the firemen who got killed and so on. So this has a special meaning to us. And we will do something for that too. Finally, uh, any of you here have had an anniversary uh, within the last 6 to 12 months? <laughs> okay. You have had good, good, good because Grace and I have just recently had an anniversary. Uh, as you know, uh, we never talk about numbers when it comes to anniversaries or when it comes to birthdays. However, I can tell you one thing, and that is that there's only one zero after the number. <laughs> uh-huh, you got it, see? <laughs> So two big, big thanks. One of them to Grace, my wife. She's the one who kind of made this all possible, and this is my anniversary gift. Thank you, my love. Uh, by the way, we have some very subtle ways of communicating with each other when it comes to this. Okay, I'll just warn you, so in case you happen to see it. And uh, my grandchildren, you are not allowed to do the things that Grandma can do. Okay, <laughs> that's only for she, for her and for me. If I'm not playing loud enough, she goes like this, okay? <laughs> if I'm playing too loud, she goes like this. <laughs> if I make a mistake, she goes like this. Okay? But I'll tell no, 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 you're not allowed to do that. You can go like this, but not like this. Okay. Uh, so, a lot of different things that we're doing. The next one, in a sense, is a romance by Svensson. I was just talking with a friend of mine who was also feeling that Svensson is a terribly underestimated person. The reason for doing this is that 1962 came to Seattle for the first time. It was the first job right after I finished my medical school training. By the way, a number of people have been asking, what do I do for a living? You know, it's not music, okay? Mike, are the back doors all closed? Okay, I will be very honest with you. It's, I'm not a musician, I'm, I mean, I, I play, but uh, I'm not a professional musician. But anyhow, uh, so that's kind of what it is. But Svensson, in a sense, when we came here at that time, we were uh, flabbergasted as to how many people from Scandinavia actually lived here. And one of the things that I heard was this fabulous little romance. So this is what we're going to play now, kind of in reminiscence to the people that, in a sense, really kind of got started and started this whole place.